All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here, talking about real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So um, this is kind of a holy crap Batman moment as far as this particular article. Someone sent this to me, Mark, I believe, over on Patreon. Thanks, Mark. Um, <laughs> I am now the TMZ channel. So Lindsey Buckingham says... Stevie Nicks is still in love with him. It is possible that she has never been completely over me. So he says this in the Times in a revealing new interview. He says, there were a number of years where I wasn't over her. And it is possible that she has never been completely over me. Now, maybe that's a little bit of uh, projection from Lindsay Buckingham, wishful thinking in the sense that whatever it is that's bothering Stevie Nicks, right? Whatever it is that's made her kind of ground herself the way she has, where she doesn't have, you know, that many people around her other than her servants. And he hinted at that, the last article that I read, it's like, she's got her people, Whereas I have a family, although he is currently, I think, separated from his wife, um, and they still may patch things up, according to an article I read uh, a month or so ago. But this is kind of bombshell stuff here. This is not what I expected to be um, covering when it came to Stevie Nicks or Lindsey Buckingham. Um, you know, if you're 44 years old, you're about as old as this particular relationship drama. Um, Buckingham just is spilling more and more of this too. He says, the way we had to get through rumors is part of the legacy and heroics of the whole thing. We didn't have time to heal or move on in the traditional sense. Now, he's been talking about that for years. And I think Stevie Nicks has mentioned that as well. I think Christine McVie talked about it because obviously there was stuff going on with her, Mick Fleetwood, Mick Fleetwood and Stevie Nicks. Uh, this is why Mick and Stevie will always be close because they were very, very close at one point. Uh, so close. I think they were in the same bed together. Huh, sorry. Um, Anyway, Buckingham says that is not a healthy thing to do because um, those little compartments can remain sealed up for years until things start seeping out when you don't realize. So are things seeping out? Is that what this is all about? It's a crazy bombshell thing to say, like, hey, she might still be in love with me. That might be the reason for all of this. Does that sound a little too, like, self-important? Like, hey, you know, this is, it's it's because of me. You know, it reminds me of like a Robert Cray song. <laughs> I was right next door and I was such a strong persuader, right? It's because of me. So interesting, not really expected. We thought maybe this drama was over. Um, Irving Azoff might be making some phone calls right now to Stevie Nicks to say, look, I can sell a billion tickets He's out there saying that, you know, you're still in love with him. Now, cause a little bit more drama and mayhem, and then we'll get the band back together again. You can hold your nose. You can do some theatrics out there. Uh, you don't have to sing all that much because we'll have people all around the stage like we did last time who are doing the vocals and the heavy lifting when it comes to the performance. And obviously, nobody's going to try to steal the show from Lindsay once he gets out there and he starts playing guitar and have Lindsay back in the band and have Stevie and Lindsay back on stage after all of this stuff. It's a promoter's dream. You know, it just, it would be one of the great concert events in probably the last 10 years of geezer rock, you know, sorry to call it that, but I'm starting to feel like a geezer watching some of these people and, just how bad some of these performances are. I mean, let's just be honest. And I'm not trying to put down everything. I had a patron say, well, you know, what do you expect? I mean, this is as good as it's going to get. And I'm like, no, it's not. 
uh, go back in time and watch that. I mean, it, that was better. And uh, to say it's as good as it's going to get kind of feeds into this whole mentality that, you know, you accept mediocrity as you get older because there's not much out there, but there is. See, this is the sad part. And I hate to go off on a tangent here. If what happened in the 90s didn't happen and we had the natural progression of younger bands coming up through the ranks and replacing some of these older bands or being next to them for a few years and then the older bands tend to fade and the newer bands take over. I mean, it happened decade after decade, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and then something different happened in the 90s where nothing was compatible with the past or very little. And now you've had over 30 years of this crap. So people could be weaned off of Fleetwood Mac. They could be weaned off of whatever band they still enjoy. Uh, in the case of Fleetwood Mac, let's just be honest. This is mediocre at best. Even if you get Buckingham and Nick's together back on stage, people will be paying $400 a ticket to see the WWE at that point. They're going to see, you know, um, the guiding light with Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham, whatever soap opera, you know, and will it be entertaining? It might really be. It might be very entertaining from a musical standpoint. It might be very mediocre. I don't know. Maybe the passion will grip everybody and everyone will turn in just amazing performances to support what I think would be the final Fleetwood Mac tour, and it would be a great way to go out, no question about it. Lindsey Buckingham keeps hinting around uh, in these articles that, hey, we should be going out in style rather than going out as a cover band, which that's what he called the uh, Neil Finn, Mike Campbell fiasco, which I agree with. I said during the entire thing, the media though kept propping it up saying, oh, Casual chemistry. This is great. Mike Campbell, what a rebel. Sounds nothing like Lindsey Buckingham on guitar. Great guitar player. You know, again, you're filling big shoes, right? But your feet aren't even in the shoes. You know what I mean? The shoes just, nobody can fill those shoes because they're unique, original shoes. So that's the problem. But to have them both on stage, have this TMZ drama playing out, you know, people in the audi audience will be like, wonder if she still loves him. He pro she probably does. We need to go because this will be great. Maybe they'll just go crazy on stage. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Maybe there'll be this embrace, you know, like Lindsay or Stevie walks over to Lindsay and gives him this big hug. Imagine, imagine the coverage on that. Stevie Nicks hugs Lindsay Buckingham and admits that he was always the one. <laughs> it could happen, folks. It could happen. It would sell a lot of tickets. And it's not out of the question because quite honestly, to read that headline, and I'll read it again, Lindsey Buckingham suggests Stevie Nicks is still in love with him. It is possible that she has never been completely over me. <laughs> it's the year 2021. It's crazy. But it might be true. I'm sure Nix will come back and deny it, but even if she denies it, it the cat is out of the bag. And now, uh, like I say, if I'm Irving Azoff, I'm a speed dialing Mick Fleetwood right now saying, you got to, you got to talk to Stevie. You got to get her back in. This will be the biggest concert for you guys ever. You can go out with a bang. You can make, you know, thousands, millions, whatever. Just, it'll be a great way to go out. Uh, we could sell lots of merchandise. We could have pictures, you know, with boxing gloves of Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks on T-shirts. <laughs> oh, man. Um, call it the Hell Freezes Over Part 2 tour. I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm stealing here from the Eagles. But um, this is crazy stuff, folks. In any event, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Patreon for a buck a month. You can't get this kind of crazy, unhinged type, YouTube type person for any price. So a dollar a month, 
is not a lot to spend and you keep supporting the channel and uh, you fight the algorithm, which needs to be fought each and every day, much like what could happen on stage between Stephen Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham.